Greetings, mathematicians. Today, we're going to look at place value model. I'm on 36L, 36R. Place value model, and we're actually going to integrate what we've learned in the last three lessons. All right. Readjust. All right. Unit four, lesson three, sharing methods for multiplication. Our objective. I will use the place value model, that sounds important, to solve multi-digit multiplication problems. So uh, multi-digit uh, big numbers, big numbers. Place value model, many of you saw this last year in fourth grade. Hopefully you guys did work with it. Um, if this is the first time, it could be eye-opening. All right, read it with me. I will use the place value model to solve multi-digit multiplication problems. All right, and our vocab that we need that is crucial to completing this assignment. First up, we have partial product. Say it with me, partial. And you'll notice that the word part is in partial. So it's going to be part of the answer. Uh, much like a big uh, T-bone steak. I don't know if you're, a, if you're a meat eater, you get one of those big T-bone steaks. Uh, if you were to eat it all in one shot, uh, you'd probably choke. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Oftentimes you need to go through and cut it up into smaller pieces so you can digest it easier. Otherwise, it could get caught. It could be dangerous. Oh, that's not a very good fork. All right. Next up, um, place value section. And essentially, we're going to draw little models. So it'll be a model, and we'll break it up into four boxes. Uh, if we're talking two-digit numbers, if it's three-digit numbers, by a two-digit number, we might go to six pieces. And we'll be looking at the area model. So place value, we're going to break down numbers by their place value and label this area model. So this is the area model. And the place value section would be uh, what you'll see on the next page. All right. Here's a pretty big multi-digit multiplication problem. This is No one taught me my 43s. And I certainly don't know them all the way up to 67. So we're really going to have to work this one out. So let's let's do some color coding. Um, 43. I'm going to put 43 on the side here. I'm going to break it by tens and ones. How much is in the tens column here? It's essentially 40. The ones column is three. So I'm saying this is my 40 section. This is my three section. All right, and let's break up 67. I'll color code it red. Which is bigger, 60 or 7? That's right, 60. I'm going to put my 60 here plus my 7 here, my smaller section. And now you essentially do four problems. We're going to multiply 40 and 60, 40 and 7, 60 and 3, 3 and 7. Now, I know this one right off the top of my head. I'm, I'm going to start with the small ones. Three times seven is, or seven times three, 21. Awesome. That's the one I keep. I'm going to keep it as 21. Let's go three times 60. 60 times three equals, so six times three. I know 18, put a zero on the end. I've got 180, I've got another partial product. Partial product, partial product. Let's bring these two together. 60 times 40. Let's pull the digits out. Six times four. What do we get? Six times four is 24, two zeros behind it. That's our other partial product. It's the biggest partial product we have so far, 2,400. Let's do 40 and seven. So 40 times seven, seven times four, 28. 
with a zero. So now I have four partial products. I work the partial products inside the area model. I tabulate next to it. So let's start with the biggest number. 2400. Second biggest number. 280. 180. 21. Now I can do what I do and add them up. Now, some of you might like the old method. You might like the shortcut where you do 43, 67, and you work out every number. This is a visual model. And also, if you learn how to do this one, you'll be able to break down problems uh, using mental math a lot quicker. Let's add them up. One, eight and eight make 16, 18. Four and two is six, seven, eight. Another eight, bring down my two. Now I simply have the answer of 2,881. Now, if you want to do it the old way, and you can certainly can test it out, but you'll end up with this product. So for anyone that's interested, this is our area model. This is where we make one problem, four easier problems, and then add. All right, let's do one more example together. Thirty-nine times fifty-four. Remember, partial product. We want to break them up between their tens and their ones. And let me start with thirty-nine. So thirty plus nine, fifty plus four. And let me start with the biggest one right now. Let's do thirty times fifty. Three times five is fifteen. Two zeros. Partial product. 30 times 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. 1, 0. Partial product, 120. Let's go on down. 9 times 50. 9 times 5, I know is 45. 1, 0 on the end. Ooh, big partial product, 450. 9 times 4. I know that one. Nine times four is 36. I've got my four parts. Now I can add them up. You can do this least to greatest. I just prefer greatest to least. That gives me the most organization. Remember, keep your columns organized when you're adding up at the end. Six, 10. One and four makes five and five, 10, one more, 11. So now I have 2,106 is my answer. All right, we're gonna have some sample problems for you to work on. Um, you can do it the old fashioned way. I really recommend you try this. Um, it might help you get through your standardized tests a little bit smoother. Thanks guys.